Hi, it's Sarah from Drone Minds. With HDR Instant, I'll show you how you can turn your drone videos into high dynamic range photography. Okay, HDR Instant. First, we go to File, open the video that you want to extract the HDR uh, photo from. Uh, and I've got my video here, we can see that. I'm just gonna play it so we can see exactly what happened. Uh, I think that's just a flying app, here we go. And um, let's say I want my picture to be framed probably somewhere here, I think that would look nice. Um, and now we need to find sharper frames, uh, so that's gonna be done for us. And um, take some time, but um, I'm gonna speed that up. Um, I think this is a really good tool, especially that you normally wouldn't be able to extract HDR photos from the video. Okay, um, we've got 94% uh, four sharp and 100%. I think that will probably be just uh, enough for what we need. I did some earlier when it was 64, so it all depends on what video we've got. You can see that um, I'm choosing how many frames I want stacked and I'll go for five could see the uh, timeline at the bottom extending depending on how many frames I choose. You've got um, different anti-ghosting settings, you can custom those and also quality. Uh, I'm gonna go for optimal and that just means as well it's gonna just take a bit longer. And here we go, uh, it's got 11 images to process. process. Um, the other advantage of that uh, I think that's um, is quite good is that you don't have to and disturb the flow of the video and stop it to take the picture and also go for all the different settings. So there's definitely advantages of that and I'll be um, quite interested to explore that. I'm going to explore that as a JPEG before we uh, make any changes to it. It will probably make a thumbnail to my video. Okay, let's choose that folder here and save. Excellent, we're in the step 3 now, so let's edit. You've got different uh, preset um, tone mapping here, so you can see how your image will look. I'm just going to go for tone mapping one, and in here you've got you can save your own uh, tone mapping settings that you like. I've got one here called Sunset, so depending on what you're doing, you might find something that really works for specific pictures. Uh, like I said, we're going to go for tone mapping one. And again, uh, that's speeded up because normally that takes uh, some a few few good minutes, depending as well on the computer you've got. Shouldn't be long now, any minute, and 90%. Okay, okay, excellent. We've got the results are uh, looking pretty good. I might uh, just play around with those, see if I can get uh, rid of those overexposure uh, sky. You can actually change that in the view if you don't want those to be uh, highlighted. Um, excellent, uh, you can see that original, you can see the difference really makes it so much easier, especially if you, if you don't have editing software. Okay, we're going to play around with a different picture now. That's the one that's going to be posted on uh, Sarah Drummond's Instagram. So if you do find it, that would be great. Um, and I'm going to try the tone mapping uh, one again, see how that looks. And that's speeded up as well because it just uh, took extra minutes. And I think I'm going to increase the contrast, crop that, because uh, I don't want that sun glare. Um, so apply to um, if you think, yeah, that's perfect. And um, like I said, I hope you do try it as a free version online. Uh, the pro version gives you um, ability to choose more frames to be stacked. Um, so that's probably the main difference. And you could um, see this looks completely different. I'm going to, here we go. You can just compare it, and what I'm going to do now is maybe see if I can maybe increase the saturation a bit and play around with it. I encourage you to do the same, and uh, yeah, that's perfect. So, export again into my folder and ready. Let's try the enhanced now. You can see there's a really dramatic look now for the reservoir. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. You can get the app from hdrinstant.com. There are different buy options, including a free trial. HDR Instant is available as a standalone version or a plugin for Lightroom. No way.
it. And also our Typhoon Plus, which is our 2K version, which is a, a different one, white airframe.